Welcome to AVI Network's demo on software load balancing for any cloud. AVI Networks has built the next generation software load balancer by separating the control plane and data plane from the traditional hardware load balancers, centralizing the controller and distributing the data plane, what we call them service engines, into commodity x86 servers. These service engines can run on a bare metal server or on virtualized environment in VMware and OpenStack. In addition to doing load balancing, the service engines also collect hundreds of logs and metrics every second, which then push them to the controller, which provides a centralized visibility and analytics dashboard. In addition to being on a bare metal in a virtualized environment, the AVI service engines can also run in containers as well as in public clouds such as AWS and Azure. Let's go to a quick demo. I'm going to log in to the AVI controller through AVI UI. And when I log into the AVI UI, what you see is an application dashboard where I have about two dozen applications that I have deployed. Unlike traditional load balancers, I don't have a device centric view. Instead, I have applications color coded by the health score. And a health score itself consists of four components the application performance, throughput, latency, etc., as well as resource penalty which measures how the load balancing and application resources are getting utilized, anomaly penalty, which measures any deviation from baseline performance, and a security penalty, which is a measure of security posture, configuration, uh, DDoS attack, etc., of the application. Let me also show you a tree view of the application dashboard where you can see how these applications are deployed on various load balancers that I'm managing through one controller, what networks they're deployed on, and what the health of their application server is. For example, this demo of the application is deployed on this particular service engine, which has a green health score. It has five different pools that it is load balancing with its own health score, which network these pools are part of, and what are the servers in each of the pools that I'm load balancing. As you can see here, even the servers are color coded by their health. For example, this particular server is marked red because we are unable to reach that through system mo HTTP monitor because the ARP is unresolved. So as you can see here, a very comprehensive view on your application infrastructure and easy to understand what might be going wrong. Unlike traditional load balancers where it takes two weeks to six weeks to spin up a new VIP because somebody has to open up a ticket and then a network admin has to go and figure out where the capacity is and maybe even purchase a new hardware appliance. With Avi, you can spin up a load balancers in 30 seconds or less. The first question as a user I am asked is, do I want to spin up a load balancers in OpenStack, in vCenter, in AWS, etc.? I'm going to go with the default cloud, which is vCenter. I'll create the VIP by giving it a name, an IP address, or a DNS name, which then pulls up the IP from the uh, DNS server that's configured. I can give it HTTPS configuration and select an appropriate certificate. And then I'm ready to configure the backend pool members. I can type the IP addresses manually, or I can ask the controller to show me what networks are accessible to me as a user. I know what application is running in VLAN 100, I get a list of all the VMs in that VLAN. I search for the servers that I'm looking for, select them, add, and save. And that's it. In the background, the AVI controller has created a pool, figured out if it needs to spin up a new load balancer through vCenter, put them in the right network, the, the VMs in the right network, downloaded the VIP configuration, and I'm ready to receive traffic. Took me less than 30 seconds didn't have to open up a ticket, and I can do this in a self-service fashion in a multi-tenant environment. Let me move to another application where I have some traffic running where I can show some of the analytics capabilities that Avi Networks has built in. When I go into a specific application where there is traffic running, the first dashboard that I get is this end-to-end -end timing dashboard. What this end-to-end -end timing dashboard tells me is that over the last six hours, and I can actually rewind back in time just like a network DVR to last day, week, month, etc. But in this case, over the last six hours, the average latency from my clients coming over the internet, coming over the WAN 
to my data center is 114 milliseconds. The average local DC network latency is a millisecond and a half. This is the latency from the load balancer to the backend server. The application itself is taking 62 milliseconds to process. And finally, it takes under a millisecond for the data to go back with the end user experience of 178 milliseconds. This is an extremely powerful dashboard. Our customers call it mean time to innocence tool. Why? Because normally today, if there is an application problem, the network admin gets blamed. Every performance issue is a network issue. Well, this dashboard allows the network admins and the app admins to figure out if there is a problem, and if so, where it might be. For example, the local network is doing just fine. It's just a millisecond and a half latency. And the, even the WAN latency or the application latency haven't changed over the last six hours any significantly. In addition to this high-level tool, which gets you the big picture view of what the application performance is, you can log into our log screen, which gives you a detailed analytics view. And in here, we have a Google-like search bar where you can search for every transaction that has gone through the RV load balancer. For example, I search for iPhone, and now I can dig into where these transactions are coming from. So for example, this particular transaction is coming from Singapore with somebody running um, iOS mobile Safari browser on an iPhone. Naturally, we search for iPhones with TLS 1.2 as the SSL version with RSA certificate. This transaction took 72 milliseconds to hit the load balancer, took two milliseconds from the load balancer to the server. It was server number three, which serviced the request, and the response time, the data transfer time were negligible. I am able to do that uh, at, for every transaction with a simple search. I can also get views on what type of browsers are accessing this application, what type of devices are accessing this application, and what the end-to-end -end latency profile is for my users. Extremely powerful analytics dashboard in addition to being just a load balancer. Let me move to another application where I can show you some of the security capabilities that Avi Networks has built in. In this case, um, if I log into the security dashboard, what you see here is that what type of traffic is uh, coming from and what SSL versions these clients are using or what TLS uh, version uh, the browsers are using. In this case, but three-fourths of the application uh, the browsers are using TLS 1.0 and the rest are using TLS 1.1. About three-fourths are using RSA certificates and the quarter are using um, elliptic curve certificates. In addition, the SSL score consists of different aspects of your SSL configuration, including whether you have PFS supported, what the cipher strengths are, if there is any trusted certificate or not. If not, as in this case, uh, the score is uh, negatively impacted and HSTS is enabled or not. And finally, if there is any DDoS attack that might be going on, is called out in our security screen. Finally, let me show you the auto scale capabilities that Avi Networks has built in. So if, let me move to a real time view and um, go to the throughput screen. And what you see here is that in this case, my resource penalty is non-zero because my resources that this application are, is using are saturated. So in this case, the, app, the application is being served by one load balancer and with a single click or in a, in a real environment with, with automation, with built-in threshold-based alerts, you can scale out your application infrastructure. So now, by clicking on scale out, my controller is spinning up another service engine, putting the service engine in the right network, downloading the VIP policy, and it's really ready to receive traffic. So with a single service engine, it was serving at about 380, 390 Mbps. With the scale out, it, we have horizontally scaled out by adding a second service engine or second load balancer something that you could not do with the hardware load balancers because you have to wait for provisioning a new device. With Avi, you have scaled out horizontally and within a few seconds, this, this application performance would go from 300, 400 Mbps to our five or 600 Mbps as you see here. So this type of horizontal scale, elastically scaling out and scaling in is not possible uh, with your traditional appliances it's possible with Avi because of its distributed architecture. Thank you for watching the Avi Networks demo. If you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to us on avinetworks.com. You can also try 
RV Networks Vantage platform in your own labs, either on public cloud or in a private cloud, by going to rvnetworks.com/try. Thank you.